And we're back. So next I went to Jump Shop, which is a whole store for Shonen Jump things. <laughs> and so I was excited to go there. <laughs> I didn't realize that there was a Jump Shop in Sakai, but I was very happy to find one. <laughs> this is kind of looking in through the door into the store. And this was towards the end of the day, I think, when it was a lot less crowded. When, when I was there at the beginning of the day, you could hardly move to like find things. You couldn't see half the displays because there were people in front of them. Here's another angle from later in the day. I think that TV had one piece playing the whole time. It was a lot of screaming. And there's a little Valentine's display there at the bottom. Get your loved one. Shonen Jump Valentine's. And the, the whole store, one piece is really big right now in Japan, especially it's big in America too, I guess, but um, so the store was really decked out in One Piece, got all the pirate flags. But there's, there's the dog from Gintama, probably bigger than I am. So you can see from these pictures just kind of what the jump store looked like. It was, it was decorated really neat, like not just because of awesome Shonen Jump stuff everywhere, but it was just a cool looking store, it was kind of decorated to look like a pirate ship. That's like the cashier area over there. To the right is where the manga was. It's just a lot of merchandise, mainly for One Piece and Bleach and Bakuman, other popular things right now. And I just, their faces were funny, so I took a picture of these plushies. Like, just, just look at the eyes. And next we have the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure merchandise in its own little corner, which I dubbed JoJo's Bizarre Corner. So I took a picture of it for Miles. There was more stuff than this, but I didn't realize that until after I took the picture and like left the store and was then like, oh wait, there was more there. Kermit the Frog. I'm the Prince of Tennis. Yes, it is a book for the Prince of Tennis, the musical. <laughs> or if your Valentine doesn't like chocolate, you could always buy them Sanji's cream soup. <laughs> kind of want to try it. <laughs> He's supposed to be a great cook. And I searched the crowded store, looking and looking, hoping to find some sort of Shaman King merchandise, but um, it was crowded, so I, I ended up asking a person who worked there if there was any Shaman King stuff, and she looked at like this one little area where they had a couple pins hanging, and like there wasn't any Shaman King, there weren't any Shaman King pins or anything there, so she was like, oh no, there's not anything. I don't know, I'd, I'd kind of hope that maybe, even though it was old, since they're re-releasing it now, maybe there'd be something, but she said, no, it's just, all we have is the comics. But I did find this, this picture, hanging near the cash register. And, I don't know, that made me happy, <laughs> so I took a picture of it, because at least it's represented somewhere in the store. And now we're going to move on to the Pokemon Center! And it was a neat little store that I was really excited to go to. This is a picture of the outside. You can see the po the little Pikachu, running Pikachu border going along the edge. And the Charizard inside the store flying. Um, it was cool, but again, very crowded on a Saturday at Sakai. It was a close-up of the Charizard. There was an area where um, all the plushies were. Plushies and stuff, like little toys. And it was kind of in a cave, I guess. It was like a forest, kind of a tunnel through the store. And all through the store they had the Pokemon Center music playing. <laughs> and this was on the other side of the store, opposite from the Charizard. Um, there were a lot of, they had like food and toys and clothing and like anything you could think of. This I thought was funny because it's the Pikachu, but it's the ditto that couldn't transforms <laughs> version of the Pikachu. So, I don't know, I thought that was cute. <laughs> And across from the Pokemon Center proper was the Union Room, where there were people playing card games and stuff. And I don't know if this is where you're supposed to use your Game Boy to, like, link up with people, but there were people doing that everywhere, like, all through the store, all through the hallway. <laughs> there were a lot of people playing Game Boy. Um, this was on the wall of the Union Room. And here's some of the people playing the card game. Ah, like the good old days. <laughs> I also got... This from in front of the union room. It's for your birthday. You can go, and if you 
if it's like the week before and the week after your birthday, you can go there and show them some proof that it's your birthday and you will get prizes. <laughs> so, all right, so back to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> they also had a few of these, which were like little um, imprints that were the size of the Pokemon's paw prints, I guess, footprints, paw prints. They had them for only a couple of the Pokemon, but this one is for Pikachu, and there's my hand next to it for size comparison. <laughs> and I had to take a picture of this for Liz. <laughs> Liz, if you follow your dreams, someday you can be that guy in the Meet You Mar <laughs> costume standing in the back there. This was part of a TV show that was playing on the screen <laughs> in the Pokemon Center. So I guess that's about it from um, my time at Oasis 21 in Sakai, or at least from the part that I went over in the stores. So I guess this vlog will be the supplement to those journal entries. And well, I guess that's it. If you guys just enjoyed this, um, I guess tell me. If this is worse than the journal entries, tell me that too. <laughs> Um, so yeah, um, it was nice talking to you guys, and yeah, talk to you later. Bye!